Welcome to the Mayor's Corner. In this month's episode, we'll highlight the plastic bag collection boxes, talk about our rubbish drop-off site, and introduce you to our new community policing officers. Help us turn bags into benches. Plastic bags and plastic wrap are not accepted in our recycling, but thanks to a program created through our Sustainability Commission, there are now drop boxes at City Hall and our Municipal Center for you to dispose of your plastic bags. Through a company called Trex, every 500 pounds collected goes toward the creation of a brand new bench. For those starting their spring cleaning, the City of De Pere's rubbish, electronics, and metal drop-off site officially opens for the season starting April 3rd. It's available to De Pere residents only and will be open through November on Wednesdays from 3 to 7 p.m. and Saturdays from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Visit our website for a list of accepted items. On this episode of the Mayor's Corner, we're going to talk about the new community policing position that was created by the City of De Pere uh, and the Police Department. Uh, this position, uh, we have two officers that just started within the last couple of months. Uh, I'm joined right now by one of those officers, um, and this is Charlie Leiderman. Charlie, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me, I'm here. All right, so this is an attempt by the, um, the police department, which is, by the way, a very highly respected police department um, in the state of Wisconsin, um, to enhance the experience um, with the residents um, and have some connection um, that they think they could do differently um, to make that experience even better. So, Charlie, maybe you could, uh, now you're just one of the two officers that were hired. We have two, um, we have Joe Johnson, um, and of course we have you. So maybe briefly you can describe um, this, these two new positions that we created because we don't create a lot of new positions. Um, at least I haven't throughout my tenure as an alder and as mayor. And this is something that, that police um, was asking for and, and they think it'll be very beneficial. So basically, can you kind of explain what we're looking at here? So the two positions that we have, we're hoping to be more field-based. Uh, we're gonna continue to build on many of the programs that we already have in place. Our, Neighborhood Watch, our Citizens Academy, other outreach programs um, that benefit the community. Um, so with that, we wanna be uh, in uniform, out in the field, and as well, being able to respond to community uh, concerns, quality of life issues that may take more time than an average patrolman, uh, can, or patrol officer can uh, handle on a given shift. And I, my understanding is you, you're flexible. So you guys can adjust your hours accordingly based on what the needs are at that particular time. Is that pretty accurate? Correct. Uh, we're primarily working Monday through Friday, but based on either a traffic complaint or a community concern, we may come in at 6 a.m. We may work late in the evening to later 9. Uh, we can work a longer day, up to 12 hours. Great. So, and then we have two officers that were hired, obviously. So I guess you can look at Tapir, you know, with two sides. We have the west side and the east side. Is that kind of the way we're looking at it? To try to address needs based on both sides of the river, even though, of course, we're one. Correct. We, we work together. I'm going to be primarily assigned to uh, neighborhoods on the east side. Officer Johnson will be working with the west side. However, we work together. Uh, we, we may be both working on the west side. We may be both working on the east side. Um, but it's important that... Um, so whatever and, need arises, right. you'll respond to that. So one of us should always be working uh, in a given week. Great. So uh, we have a, a group email that we can both have access to. So if one of us is on vacation, one of us will be here. Good. And the good part about doing this is to get your face out there so people recognize you. I know there's an extensive outreach campaign going on, at least for the last couple of months and even going forward. Um, so this is an important part about getting the message across. Um, so with that in mind, you're looking to connect with businesses, you're looking to connect with the individuals um, and constituents throughout the city of De Pere. Um, what types of other outreach will you be trying to do to get that message out there in addition to what we're doing right now? Um, some other uh, ideas that we've had is uh, that we've done in the past, coffee with uh, cops. Oh, great idea. Uh, we'd like to bring our social worker in as well, uh, John Bushmaker. Yep. Uh, maybe do it on a weekend when, uh, when the community may have more time uh, to come on a Saturday morning. Uh, That's great. Now, if, if folks want to connect with you, just reach with you or Officer Johnson, how do they go about doing that? They can do it uh, via email. Okay. Uh, CP at thepeerwi.gov. Great. Or they can uh, as well um, get a hold of us. And we they can go to the City of Peer website, obviously go to police if they don't remember that. Yeah, if they right? don't remember, they can go to the website. We do have a direct uh, uh, phone number. 
um, that just goes to the two of us. And then we get any messages left, they get emailed to us immediately if we're outside in, in our cars. Great. So again, this was set up to make the experience for all residents much better. For, like I said at the start of it, for a very respected um, police department that we have in the city of De Pere. So we hope that you take advantage of this, these two um, new officers that we have and this new position that's created to make that experience even better. So on behalf of the city of De Pere um, and the police department, and I know will be all the residents and businesses in De Pere, um, we welcome you uh, and we're looking forward to this, uh, this future venture. So thank you very much, Charlie, thank for you. joining me. You're welcome. I'm Mayor James Boyd. Thank you for joining me on this episode of The Mayor's Corner.